It is a special day. It is Palm Sunday, and um, perhaps you recall in, on Palm Sunday, Jesus rides into Jerusalem. He's riding on a donkey, and I'm sure there were hundreds of children in that crowd waving palms and shouting, Hosanna, save, and praising God. And then the very next day, we're reading in Matthew, the very next day, Jesus moves into, goes into the temple in Jerusalem. And we see another picture, a snapshot of Jesus that might surprise us from the day before when he was regally seated on this donkey and being praised. For now, his eyes are full of fire and he's angry and he's rushing through the temple and he's driving out not asking kindly, would you leave? He's driving out those who are using his church for something other than worship. And when he drives out the animals and the buyers and the sellers and, the, and he comes back in, who's left in the temple? Who's left? You see the people who need him, the people who need healing, the people who are blind, the people who are lame, and... Find this in Matthew. And kids. Kids are left in there. And believe it or not, they're running through the church. (laughs) And Jesus isn't scolding them. Because what they're doing as they're running, they're so full of praise, they can't keep it in. They're running, they're jumping, they are praising God which makes me understand why Jesus said what he said just a short while before this week began. In a little snippet of verses, and this story and character that I share with you now grew out of, as I read those verses, my sense of what God was telling me through those verses. Welcome! Welcome, welcome to Rachel's fresh fish and other fine foods from the sea. <laughs> you want some fish? You, got, you want some fish? Oh, I got fish. I got fish for you. I got alibet. I got salmon. I got some tuna. I heard you weren't having any potluck afterward. There's some fish right up here. You come right on up. Fresh stuff, too. You go over to Joe next door. You ask him for some fish. He'll say, fresh tuna. You take a whiff of that stuff. (laughs) My stuff is fresh. Just caught to the end. I fillet it. I clean it for you. For a little fee, of course, huh? But I throw in a little humor just for free. Like this, uh, knock, knock. Israel. Israel. Israel, nice to meet (laughs) you. Knock, knock. Noah. You know a better joke than this one? Uh, in fact, you knew I would, right? <laughs> you know why the gulls, they fly over the Sea of Galilee, but they never fly over the bay? Huh? Huh? I better go quick. Some of you know right now, don't you? Because then they'd be called bagels, huh? You ever seen, <laughs> you ever seen a bagel fly? <laughs> no, but I had one for breakfast. <laughs> I know. Don't quit my day job, right? Well, the name is Rachel, and it's real nice to meet you. You want some fish? No. I know you don't want any fish. I heard you were coming by. I heard through the grapevine that Jesus was coming around asking people to tell them stories, tell you stories about Jesus. You didn't hear much, did you? You know things are tense around here, right? Ever since the years, since the cross... Hey, things are kind of underground, you know that, don't you? But I know you want to know about Jesus. You want to hear some stories about Jesus? I'll tell you about Jesus. Pull up a crate, have a seat. If you don't mind a couple of fishy tales, I'll tell you about Jesus. I can't forget ever the first time I ever saw Jesus. I was out by the Sea of Galilee. Oh, 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 I got a great idea. You can help me set the scene, make it feel like we're really there. Are you game for that? Oh, I got that. I got that. You're game for helping me? Let's make it feel like we're really there. 
So those of you right here, over in this section, right now the sun is shining out at the Sea of Galilee, the sand is hot beneath our feet, and the wind is blowing. Now you know, the blowing wind could sound like what? Oh, they're good. I didn't even cue them. Get, good job. Now let's try it again. It's a really soft wind. A little louder wind. Oh, that's getting good. Now, with your hands, you got seagrass rustling just like this. And blowing wind. Beautiful. Oh, hold on to that because right here, the wind is blowing, sun is shining, sand is hot. And right here, the waves are pounding against the shore. You ready? You got to get your hands up. It won't be as fun right there. Like a good job. Well, we got major tidal wave back there. Ready? Now they're doing the wave back there. You can't see it, but that's the wave. Good job. Right there. Hold on to that. And right, uh, right here. Right here. We got, the, we got the wind. We got the waves. Right here. We got the... Uh, we got the fishes, uh huh. We got the little bitty fishes, fish, fish, and then we got the great big fishes, whoosh. All right, you pick a big fish, you pick a small fish. You ready? Let me hear you. Oh, we got a lot of big fish right there. <laughs> Splash! You guys are wet. Did you know it? Okay, hold on to that. Now over here, over here, you thought I forgot you, but I did not forget you. I knew who was here, so I knew you would do this really well. In the sky. You know what's in the sky, don't you? <laughs> you know what's going We got those bagels. You ready? <laughs> they sound like what? I heard some of our kids do it. They did it. Oh, yeah. They're over there. Ready? Ah! 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 That's the Richard. You got a hidden talent right there. <laughs> I heard that's the only one I heard right there. All right. He's the only one. Now, the rest of you. Ready? Pretty good, but your wings are broken. Go ahead. <laughs> ah! 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 You got it. You got it. Now, together, a little bit like a C symphony. When I point to you, you start your sound, you make your motions, keep going until we rub it up. Somewhere in the middle, close your eyes just for a second and you feel like you're out there. The sun is shining. The sand is hot beneath our feet. The wind is blowing. Waves are pounding. Keep going. The fish are splashing. The seagulls are flying. Close your eyes for a second. Open your eyes. Beautiful. That was beautiful. You did awesome. <laughs> I'm looking for the Kleenex. I got a tear in my eye. <laughs> Just kidding, not really. <laughs> so I was down by the shore, fishing. I've been fishing since I was a kid, 14, 15. Lost my parents when I was just little, and I learned to make it on my own. Went down to the boat docks. Looking for work. They laughed at me. They said, you're a girl. I knew that already. <laughs> but they let me do all the dirty work until I proved I could pull my weight. And then I went out fishing. How many of you like fishing? Got a lot of fishermen here. Fishermen, fisherwomen. What do you need to go fishing? Something you need to go fishing. <laughs> this is a professional. A net, a fishing hook, and a jacket, you gotta have the jacket or you cannot fish. You gotta have the fishing jacket. And what else? Fishing pole, gotta have your pole and? And the fishing, they, these guys are decked out. They got, the, they got the apparel. Doesn't really matter whether you got the worm, you gotta have the apparel right there. A bolt and worms, you got it. Now that's fishing, right? No way. Now, that may be fishing for you, but that's not the kind of fishing I did. <laughs> not the kind of fishing I do. Real fishing, real fishing is hard work. It's a way to survive. Sometimes fishing all day long, fishing for fish, cleaning the fish, cooking the fish, selling the fish, mending the nets, 
preparing the boat. Sometimes it feels like we're doing it all at the same time. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, can, I can let you know what that feels like. <laughs> let, let me show you. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up right here. <laughs> real quick, real quick. Let me show you what it's like. Mm. Now we got these big old nets. Probably bigger than you can even carry, but two hands. Pull the net. Pull, pull. Now you can say that. Pull, pull. Now you got to let go of one hand because you got to get a hammer and pound. Pound the boat. Pound, pound. Pull, pull. Pound, pound. Pull, pull. Pound, pound. Take a bite of that fish. Chill, chill, chill. Chill, you got to say it though. With your mouth open. Chill, chill. Pound, pound. Pull, pull. Sand's hot. You better be moving your feet. Move, move. Pow, pow. Pull your stop and come on and chill, chill. Now, if you got fish, you got flies. You got flies, you better be shaking. Shake, shake. Chew, chew. All right, you're looking tired than I am. <laughs> yeah, you get the picture, right? <laughs> Sometimes we're fishing all day. All day long. Sometimes all night. Oh, I got a story for you about that. And Jesus, another time. Sometimes fishing, when it's so hot, the skin just peels off us. When it's so cold, we're blue from head to toe. Fishing when it's so windy, you can hardly stand up against it. Fishing till our bodies ache. You get the picture, huh? It wasn't a very pretty sight. I didn't smell so good either. The day I saw Jesus for the first time, I thought he was a lunatic. I was fishing. I was on the shore. A little ways down, there was Peter and Andrew. A little ways down from them, James and John. They were in the family fishing business. The brothers, we called them. We're fishing. I'm watching and along comes this stranger. Comes right up to him and says, come on, come on, follow me. Crazy thing is, they did. Dropped everything, took after him. I'm yelling, hey, what do you think you're doing? Leaving your boats, leaving your business, leaving everything you know to do. To follow after some lunatic. What are you doing, you're crazy. I didn't understand. Not until. First day, the day I actually met Jesus, we wasn't fishing. The boats was being repaired. So I figured I'd go on into town and look for something to eat. Who was always hungry, starving. So hungry I could eat anything. <laughs> anything except maybe... Uh, you got it. <laughs> Can't stand the stuff, but I know a fresh fish when I see one. <laughs> I heard there was this prophet, this lunatic Jesus, who was coming into town, and any prophet with his salt brings a crowd, huh? And any crowd with its salt brings food. So I got up early. I went into town. Already there's people milling about. I see some girls I knew about my age. They took one look at me, hair all matted, hands bloody from pulling nets, fish guts on my tunic. They looked up and they started shouting, Rachel the fish girl, Rachel, stings like a fish. And they ran off. That's not why I came in. I found a tree as people started to gather around. I saw Jesus coming up. Already he has this massive crowd around him. And they're just following him. This crazy guy, but he's talking to him, and they're hanging on his every word. He comes into town and in this little space packs all these people like a bunch of sardines. There's old people, there's young people, there's really tiny little people. 
And everybody is crowded in next to Jesus. Well, not real close because right next to Jesus is these big guys. Some of them might used to be my friends. <laughs> Acting like this, his bodyguards or something. Keeping people from getting too close. So now I'm just scouting out the place. I'm looking over here at uh, nine o'clock, a little bread, uh huh? Down here, a little cheese. Three o'clock, some fish. I could leave that alone. <laughs> He's talking. His eyes are what drew me. They were kind. And I'm just watching him, but I'm not paying much attention to what he's saying. So I'm on my tree branch up high, and I turn upside down. I'm hanging upside down watching the scene. <laughs> and I see this bunch of mamas with these little, little kids up close. But they're trying to get up close to where Jesus is. Like they're trying to reach out and touch him. And Jesus, he's talking away and the people are listening. And all of a sudden, one of the little kids runs up close and instantly the bodyguards, they make themselves large and in charge and they won't let nobody through. And the look on their face says, get these snotty, dirty nose kids out of here. They might get Jesus' robes dirty or something. And I'm watching, and Jesus, he stops talking. And everybody's looking at him. What's he gonna do? And he gets up off his seat, and he stands up and he looks at these children, and everybody's watching. And he puts out his hands, and he looks up in my direction. <laughs> But he knows he's not looking at me because right below me is this mama with this little boy and this little girl. She's got curls and she's all pretty and smiling. And I'm thinking, all right, Jesus, what are you going to do? Are you going to show these bozos who's boss, huh? And he looks at these kids and he raises his eyes and he raises his arms and he looks right at me with those eyes. And he does one of these like a little, come here. And I don't know how, but I flipped down out of that tree and I lit in toward Jesus like I was in a race, running with all these kids around me. And I was running and Jesus' was, face was all I could see. His eyes were looking and they were smiling at me. And I am running. And I am getting closer and I see Jesus' eyes are smiling and then they go, because <gasps> they realize I'm not going to stop in time. Huh? <laughs> and I don't and all of a sudden Jesus and I collide and he falls back on his stool and the stool tips over and he crashes to the ground and so do I with a great big thud. And it is dead silent. And everybody's wondering, what's he going to do? And I'm shaking. And Jesus, after the shock gets off his face, he begins to smile. And then he begins to laugh. And he gets himself up and he reaches down and he pulls me up. And he puts his arm around me. He didn't even care that I was all dirty and smelly. <laughs> then he looks out at this crowd of faces. Their eyes are bugged out. Their mouths are hanging open. Flies could have gone in there. <laughs> and he looks down at me with his arms around me. He looks out again and he says, this, this is what the kingdom of God is made of. Me. <laughs> he picked me. Just like he picked a whole bunch of nobodies. <laughs> but we ain't nobodies no more. We got stories to tell. You ask any one of us and we'll tell you. Then Jesus, he leaned down and he said, 
You want something to eat? I got a sandwich, a little bread, a little cheese. I can take the fish off if you like. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm following Jesus, this crazy guy. I'm still fishing, uh-huh. I'm still fishing, but I'm fishing for more than fish. I fish, yeah, I got fish, but even better, I got stories to tell. Fish to sell, stories to tell. You want some? I got plenty of both. Thank you. <laughs>